was you doing? Nothing. 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 Nothing.
and you demonstrate peacefully. But you did not write, so this is an illegal procession. Just know that. Let us first read the letter they have given you. They are going to hand it over to the good president. The PRO is here. You read it. If you fail to agree, we shall sit again on the round table and solve your problem. I think let's first get the police. Madam, madam, didn't you receive a letter from the guild here telling you about the peaceful demonstration? I have never received it. I have never received it. I don't know it. It was addressed to who? Ali Mukulu. What I told you the money is the same thing. I have never received any communication from any of you. That is why I'm telling you whatever you're doing right now is illegal. So let us sit back and sort of this problem. You don't expect a solution in only one day. Let's see what the PRO is going to give you. The letter is going to hand it over to the good president who will read it back to you. But for today, we are calling off this demonstration peaceful. If you want, if you don't want it to be called peaceful, we shall use reasonable force to disperse you, which we don't want. Okay? Because you are part of it. Excuse me. Who? The one with the document. We have had the letters. They have never been responded to the You people, we are tired. We can't learn for 10 years. Being a medical course for 10 years. No, no. We can't. Members, members, please listen to this. We read. We actually sent our petition to the VC. And when we sent the petition, the petition to the VC, yesterday we had a meeting, which never went actually successfully. Are we together on that? Yes. Because we wanted them to make a commitment in writing, whether they were actually willing to commit themselves to the issue that we, yesterday we discussed. Now, the purpose, now, by yesterday evening, they said they were not willing to give us the response. They made it very clear in the meeting. And stormed out. Now, Which and actually, video? they even stormed out of what? Out of that meeting. And there are videos. Now, today, we have actually seen this letter. It is just coming uh, five minutes ago, if I'm not mistaken. So now, my only issue, what, we are, what I'm going to do, is to read back this letter to us. If we feel that the letter is explaining everything concerning us, we shall eventually call off this meeting, and probably by even afternoon, we shall resume our classes, isn't it? Yes. So the purpose of me right now to do this is to ensure that you people feel satisfied or unsatisfied with what? This document. So are you guys going to listen to me as I read this? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, this is the reference San VC 696-2022. To the guild president, guild president, and the reference is dissatisfaction by the students. Pass on to your letter dated 6 September 2022 and the meeting between top management and the guild leaders that took place at council room on the 6th of September 2022. I hereby respond and address you on the following outcomes. One, resignation of Associate Professor Kiria as Dean School of Health Sciences noted that management had received students' steps to, rem to remedy the situation. Two, freezing of the prerequisite policy informed the student leaders that freezing of a, of a policy is a Senate matter that management has no power to change. However, however, a number of meetings with the School of Health Sciences on this matter has been started to have interim measures. <laughs> Preliminary measures which will be implemented has been agreed upon whereby those students... Today we, we received a letter from uh, the student guild about some of the issues that they raised and um, we engaged them in a, a meeting um, which lasted nearly the entire day. We left the meeting around 8.30 and we agreed to provide responses to the issues that um, they raised in their, their letter and petition. And before we could um, address the issues, they told us that they wanted um, a letter from um, the vice chancellor because they delivered a, a written petition. So they demanded that uh, the professor writes to them um, responding to the issues that they raised, despite the fact that we had a meeting and everybody explained to them what had happened.
and how we are addressing the issue. So we we then um, engaged ourselves, and before we could uh, get the written response from the vice chancellor, at Chancellor, we had agreed in a meeting and found a group of students coming. So we came and gave them a letter and told them if you if your demand was um, a letter, then here is the letter. It was read to them, and somehow the um, the warrant uh, ready to uh, get back to their cause of arrested and continue the normal letter. So police had to come in and disperse them. Some of the issues that they were raising. Uh, if I could handle like one or two, one is that they wanted uh, they wanted the DST, they wanted the six, six day, uh, inch screen, and then we said, okay, when we were doing the budgeting for um, the last financial year, the guild cabinet was not yet in place, but the dean of students managed to capture most of the things that which uh, she felt as a dean would be required. So when we elected uh, the Students Guild, we were already into the financial year. So most of the things were not there. But we say we are going to source for money, and we are going to uh, get whatever they were, they were asking for. They were talking about uh, uh, those with the retail. They said if you, um, as a requirement from uh, the board that uh, supervises the uh, uh, medical institutions, if you have a retail, in one of the basic core course unit, you are not supposed to get to the next course, next class, next year, until you have finished this retail. Because it is one of the core subjects that you must do for you to qualify as, as a doctor. Now, some of them failed in those core subjects, and they wanted the university to suspend implementing and enforcing that law and allow them to get to the next class. But then you say it is not possible. You just have to register for a retail and you sit this because these are guidelines that uh, from uh, Sort University uh, that uh, we had students who were planning to disregard and disregard, disregard the law as regards processions and assembly. Uh, what do I mean by that? Uh, the students had certain satisfaction with the the management of the university. So according to them, they wanted to do a procession from the university to town. And you know, processions and highways are regulated. You cannot do procession on a highway willy-nilly. So together, we engage them in a small, uh, in a small meeting this morning. Unfortunately, they insisted that they are going to move to the city. The procession to show the satisfaction. Because of that insistence, uh, which is uh, this is the highway, so that is Roti, uh, Moroto Highway. Because of that insistence, now uh, we decided to, to disperse them and let them solve their problems with the university in an amicable way, but through not disruption of business and movement on the highway. Have you managed to arrest any? Yes, we have taken uh, the guild president of the university and his speaker, or they being the chief organizers. Your name. Your name. I'm Biron Janita, the Vice Guild President of Soret University. And as witnessed today, the students have been striking or having a peaceful demonstration over issues that have been affecting us from time to time, and the administration has paid a deaf ear to them. Not until yesterday when they panicked because they heard that we were going to have this peaceful demonstration. The issues that are affecting us include the issue of faculty allowance. This university has been in existence from way since 2015. They knew it was going to be a science university training medical doctors and nurses. And up to now, they are telling us that they have not yet budgeted for the faculty allowance. The issue of stopping um, students from crossing, the, that has been a very big issue. Because students were refused from doing retaking some courses when they were supposed to retake them because the school had not yet prepared for them to take them. Right now, they're holding them back on such grounds, yet it was their fault and they do not want to admit it. We have refused. And also the other issues that include Wi-Fi. We have always complained about Wi-Fi, everyday Wi-Fi, everyday Wi-Fi. They hold online lectures, but they do not want to uh, rectify the Wi-Fi issues. 
another issue is the, the issue of the Dean of School of Health Sciences, who has from time to time paid a deaf ear to the issues of the students under his school. Every time you tell him this is affecting us, this is affecting us, and he will give you some irrelevant, issue, irrelevant excuses. And the same person has constantly abused the student leaders, disrespected us in front of even other lecturers. So for these issues, the students are tired. We are tired and we are saying no to the, all these issues. Today, the, our leaders have been arrested. The guild president, the prime minister, the speaker and other, and other students. And we are not leaving this place until they are released. We are not attending lectures until they are released. And our issues are responded to appropriately. Yes, that's... Yes.